As Zhang He mentioned, the friendship and people-to-people -people exchange between the two goes back to the 1950s. At that time, the then Czechoslovakia gave China a generous amount of farming equipment. And to return the favor, China set up a friendship farm in Changzhou in Hebei province. After 60 years, the farm is still productive, as our reporter Ning Hong found out. These were among the earliest modern farming equipment China had. Over 600 pieces of farming equipment, including tractors, harvesters, and seeders, were given by Czechoslovakia in 1956. Then Chinese Premier Zhou Enlai personally expressed his gratitude and sought to the setting up of a friendship farm with this equipment and named it the Chinese Czech Friendship Farm. At that time, a group of Czechoslovakian mechanics were sent to China to train Chinese farmers. Zhou Chuanjiang was one of the trainees then. He is 81 years old now and still fondly remembers the time he spent with these foreign friends. We were very happy to see this equipment. Many of them are among the best in the world then. The experts from the Czech Republic were very responsible. These are the tractors that was given to China over half a century ago by Czechoslovakia then, when China was still a newly founded nation. It has made a great contribution to China's agricultural production then. Now people still keep them intact to commemorate the help and the friendship between the people of two countries. Now the Friendship Farm is a high-tech development zone and has become a bridge between the two countries. And the friendship now extends to more sectors. Chen Gaofeng is running an aviation school and is working with the Czech Republic's aviation school to train pilots. My pilots are receiving training in the Czech Republic now. They will soon get a business license in Europe and came back to train more students. The local government is planning to invest 120 million yuan to build a new airport for the aviation school. All the equipment will be imported from the Czech Republic. And the cooperation doesn't just end there. A chateau was just built to brew beer using technology and raw materials from the Czech Republic. The technology of brewing beer is quite advanced in the Czech Republic, and we're trying to introduce and bring it to China. We're also planning to build three more factories in China, in Xiamen, Beihai, and Hainan. The farm has paved the way for a close and a constant cooperation in trade, culture, and education. It has contributed 13 billion yuan to the GDP and has become the model of international cooperation between China and East European countries. Ning Hong, CCTV, Hebei Province.